One, two, three, four. If you're a content creator, I'm sure you've realized by now that your audio quality is just as if not more important than your video quality. I mean, for example, you can have an 8K amazing quality video, but if it sounds like you're recording with a tin can, nobody's gonna wanna sit through that video and watch it because it's just destroying their ears. And it gets even worse if you go outside, it happens to be maybe a slightly windy day, you're recording and you happen to be pretty far away from your camera setup, you're gonna have to scream and even at that point you're gonna be really hard to hear being at that distance. So with that being said, right here we have the Boya BY-XM6 series of ultra compact 2.4 gigahertz dual channel wireless microphone systems that are gonna make your audio quality in your videos, whether you're close range like this or even out up to 100 meters away and with a clear view of course if you have obstacles and of course it's going to cut that down a little bit but it's going to make your audio quality great no matter what your situation is it offers a seven hour runtime on a single charge so you can get through a whole day of video recording assuming it's seven hours or less which is a pretty long time especially given the compact size and when it comes time to charge it up it actually has a usb type c charging port for everything so that's always a major plus right there so you don't have to carry around extra micro usb cable specifically for this device so as you can see in front me i do have both options we have the single transmitter with the receiver as well as the dual transmitter with the receiver so the dual transmitter is of course going to be great if you happen to do some interviews and you need two people mic'd up at the same time but if it just happens to be you and your camera guess what you can just get the cheaper option that has one transmitter and one receiver so you can just talk to the camera by yourself both of them do feature an easy to use oled display real-time headphone monitoring as well as a clip-on design for hands-free operation one of the cool things about this system is you can actually use the wired lapel mic and wire it through your shirt and clip it onto yourself or if you don't want to go through all that you can actually use the transmitter itself that has a built-in microphone and just clip that onto your shirt although personally I never want to do that because I mean it's a big thing that's sitting right here and everyone's gonna be looking at it you're trying to be discreet at least I am you don't want to be able to see the giant microphone because that's just a distraction but of course in a pinch if you happen to forget the wire or something you can get away with just using the transmitter so it's always great to have options with that being said i have checked out another boya smartphone system that was a bit more compact and it clipped right onto you and is very easy to use it was actually pretty good for what it was although of course it's not amazing so hopefully this one right here takes that to the next level because it was actually still pretty good <laughs> Inside the box we have a user manual, a warranty card, as well as two Boya stickers to use for whatever you want. We have two 3.5 millimeter cables that are gonna connect to the receiver and connect to your recording device. Of course we have two cables because this works with DSLRs, cameras, laptops, smartphones, you name it, depending on which cable you use. Keep in mind if you wanna use a smartphone you have to use the cable that has the three black lines. Keep in mind if you do have a smartphone that doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter port you will need a dongle. We have the USB-A to USB-C charging cables, the lavalier microphone, the windscreen for the lapel microphone, a dead cat that's only used for clipping onto the actual transmitter, a clip so you can clip the lapel microphone onto your shirt, and a drawstring bag to carry everything with you. Now there's two things I don't like about this system and one of them is specific if you happen to be using it with a smartphone. The first thing is charging these things up, you have to charge them up individually with the USB-C cable, there's no included case that charges up everything and allows you to carry it at the same time. Now the second thing is the receiver, it's pretty bulky compared to those little ones that plug right into your phone. Those are a lot easier easier, more compact, and easier to take with you if you happen to be using a smartphone. But the good thing is you can use this with smartphones and different cameras of your choice. Now taking a look at the receiver and the transmitter, they are very small. They fit in the palm of my hand. Like, this is tiny, very glossy look, looking great. You can see the transmitter and the receiver, Boya branding on top along with this OLED screen that you can't see while it's off because it is OLED with those deep solid blacks. Over on the side we have power and volume buttons along with set and mute buttons. On the back we have charging pin connectors. Wait, what? Why do we have charging pin connectors? Is there a case available for this or something? That's kind of weird. Huh, there's probably a case somewhere. But I guess you have to buy it separately. And then over on the right side, we have two USB-C ports for charging. I mean, if there's an option and it's not too expensive, I would definitely recommend getting the charging case. You can just put them inside and you're ready to go. It's a lot easier. So now let's get the receiver powered on. I got it upside down, but it's looking very nice. You can see that nice deep black, that OLED screen is really shining. And of course, let's get the transmitter powered on. Same thing, very nice. Oh, and there we go. It actually shows you how loud you're talking 
into the microphone. So that's very cool. Now, one thing that is cool about this design rather than the smaller design for smartphones is you have the screen on the receiver so you can see exactly what audio is coming in, how loud and how strong the signal is. So that way you don't have anything cutting out. Now, keep in mind, you actually have a headphone port as well as the line out port so you can listen to it live so you can make sure nothing's getting cut out. Meanwhile, on the transmitter, we have the built-in microphone along with a 3.5 millimeter lavalier mic port. So I mean, it's a very simple design. You can see everything you need. You can adjust the gain. You can see the battery percentage as well as how much signal strength and audio is coming through. So adjusting this is actually very simple. There's not too many different settings. Just with the volume up and down, press it and it adjusts the gain on the fly and you can actually see how much is actually coming in as well. It was defaulted to five and that's usually what I leave my other ones at, but we'll see about this one. And then there's also the one touch mute. You press that and it mutes it. It puts a strike right through the microphone. Just make sure you don't accidentally press that. I wish there was a way to turn that off. And then over on the receiver, you can also adjust the gain if it happens to be peaking, getting too loud. You can manually do this while you're listening into it, which is a very nice feature. And then you can also mute it as well, although it's kind of weird that you mute it on here. Most people probably won't do that, but I guess I can see instances where you would want to. So there's really no settings here, and I mean, just the gain and muting. That's all it is. It's very simple, straightforward. So now we're gonna actually put this thing to the test inside the studio right here, and then we'll head outside after and check out the range. And now just like that, we are switched live to the audio coming directly from this lavalier microphone that I've clipped onto my shirt, how I would actually be wearing it in the real world if I was actually doing an interview or something. And it's coming right to you with a five gain right now which I feel like is what I'm gonna leave it at depending on how this sounds other brands that's exactly where I leave it at because six sometimes peaks a little bit five is usually loud enough so you can adjust it afterwards but not too loud so it peaks while you're using it unless you happen to be screaming or something and sometimes that'll happen but keep in mind remember if you happen to be in a loud environment you might want to lower it down because you can always raise it up but you can't lower it down if it happens to peak a lot just keep that in mind but hopefully it sounds good i'm talking at a regular volume right now right with the microphone not even trying to use it now i'm going to actually take it right here i'm going to hold it in front of my face if i happen to be talking like this hey how you doing my name is roderick welcome to roderick views we're doing an interview right now how do you feel today just like so, something like that. If I hold it over here, you can see when I move it around, we have an omnidirectional microphone, so it picks up different patterns. Let me clip it back on. And now I'm actually going to adjust the gain. So right now we're on five. I'm gonna start going down. Right now we're on four, three, two, one, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now this is six, which sometimes is gonna to be too loud, especially if I have a screen, which I will in three, two, one. Oh my god you guys can you believe it this microphone it doesn't look like it's peaking but it might be peaking so maybe you might want to raise this up depending on how it sounds you guys can let me know let me go back down to five and I'm screaming right now so hopefully this sounds good because remember I could raise it up if I happen to need it to be a little bit louder in my final post-production process and now I actually disconnected the lavalier microphone and I'm talking directly into this microphone if I happen to be interviewing of course you don't want to wrap your hand around it too tightly because the antennas are in here and you don't want to cover it up because that'll lessen your range and you won't be able to go out as far although if you're super close you shouldn't have an issue but sometimes you do you got to keep that in mind hey how you doing so i can do an interview like so and of course if you happen to be in a windy environment we have that dead cat which you can just oh it didn't even click but it's on there it's on there so now if you blow on it or something it should cut out the wind noise at least a tad bit and make it so everything is clear let's actually go up right now we're at six five four three two one zero one two three four five so hopefully it sounds good and it's working very well and it sounds crisp and clear and high quality and it's not cutting out because remember we're in this controlled studio environment so if it doesn't work in here it's not going to work anywhere else trust me but with that being said we're going to head outside put this thing to the test and see if it actually works with 100 meters of range without cutting out all right y'all now we are outside it is a pretty windy day we're in a pretty busy parking lot there's cars driving by there's a semi truck over there unloading with their engine on there's birds chirping in the background so hopefully you can hear me loud and clear without too too much distractions so now we're gonna start walking away I'm about 10 feet away right now so we're gonna see if we can actually get close to 300 feet without it cutting out and as I turn around and walk you can see if the transmitter loses connection to the receiver because my body gets in the way which hopefully it doesn't because that's always a pain when you're recording so let's get to it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty feet away and I'm sure everything's being fine right now so let's keep on going 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're about 30 feet away right now, and there's wind, especially when I'm walking, so hopefully you can't hear that. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're 50 feet away from the receiver, and hopefully it's still loud and clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, seventy feet away. Let's keep going. It's still windy, it's still hot, but hopefully you can hear me. One, two, three. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 22, 24, 28, 30. Right now, wow, we're far away. This is 100 feet away, which is only a third of the range that this thing can support given the conditions. Hopefully this is loud and clear. Even though I'm all the way over here, let me turn around. As I rotate, if not, then that's going to be a bummer, but we are 100 feet away, so that's actually still really good. One. Two. Okay, we're really far away. We're about 150 feet. This is really far and I'm kind of running out of space here, but hopefully you can still hear me loud and clear. Let's keep going. Right. You don't still see me, but we're 200 feet away right now. So hopefully you can hear me and maybe see me a little bit. I can't see you guys. So let's keep going a little bit. Bruh. A wall right now. Not running. Now I'm going to back to you. Hopefully, you guys can hit I'm hit by some car or something. Man, it's hot out here. I need but hopefully, you guys can hear me. Talking to microphone. For right on LED, excuse me, OLED, although it's not super bright condition, it's enough to I'm kind of my walk. Let's go running around, running around, reheating, water, probably some, but I didn't 150 feet, so hopefully. I'm mean, I don't think that far camera to be that you would very good sorry so now she makes sense you know support three feet go 50 or 100 great because it's no problem with that like right now what is this about 150 feet or so so do it right here blowing on me like crazy Hopefully you can't hear that. You can hear me loud and clear. Man, that was far. Whew. Oh, the wind's really blowing. Shirt blowing in the wind. That's the that's wind there. Let me spin around a little bit for you guys. Wow, hopefully that was good. Now we're gonna test it out without the lavalier mic. But maybe you don't wanna use the lavalier microphone. Maybe you wanna do an interview. Hey, how are you doing? Let me know what you're doing here. What do you guys think about the Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'm probably going to get flagged. I might have to bleep that. But this is what it sounds like on a pretty windy day without the wind suppressor dead cat on top. But, you know, I don't know why people do this because it just looks stupid to me. But if you want to, if you're in a pinch, you forgot your lavender mic, maybe the dog chewed it up, you can easily just clip this onto your shirt like this and use this as a lapel microphone, which looks stupid, but it gets the job done. But in the videos, I feel like it just 
takes away from the whole video, you might as well not even do the video at that point. But maybe not, because <laughs> at least you're doing a video. It's better than nothing. But let me see, what if I tried to conceal it inside of my shirt a little bit? Just like clip it on the inside like so. I feel like that's a little bit better, although it's still a big bulge. Not everyone likes big bulges in their videos, you know what I'm saying? But this is what it's like in a windy condition. Let me turn around, as you can see, it's on my chest. It's windy and, you know, it cut through me. Let me actually, let's go over here. Okay, we're about 50 feet away right now and it's very windy. So hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. I'm sure you can hear the wind noise. So I'm actually take this off, talking into it. Yeah, I'm out here on location, 100 degree heat, and I'm doing a microphone test. What you guys think? Well, I'm gonna put the dead cat on now. It just clips right on. Okay, it doesn't even really clip on, it just goes on. And now it's still windy and hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. I'm gonna turn around, my body's in between as I'm walking away, so maybe you can't hear me at all. Hopefully you're able to hear that. If not, I don't I feel like the range is gonna be, you know, identical to when I had the mic. Just far enough so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. Cause maybe I'm chasing down somebody like, what made you rob this bank today? Oh really? Cool, can I have a hundred bucks? But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's windy still, dead cat, supposed to suppress the wind noise, which in my experience, it definitely does work. Let me turn around. This is what, like 10 feet away. So if you can't hear me while I'm turned around because my body's interacting with this and it's blocking the signal, then that's totally sucks because this isn't even that far. But if not, hopefully it's good. Let me guys, blah, 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 blah. I'm getting delirious. I should drink some water. What am I doing? Let me know what you guys think because hopefully this is working very well because honestly, I really like this microphone kit. It's very small, very lightweight, sounds good. Let's get back to the studio. And we are back right now. We're still using the Boya microphone with the lavalier microphone set to a gain of five because I still feel like that's where I'm gonna wanna have it most of the time unless I happen to be screaming very loud and of course I'm gonna lower it down. The good news is you can adjust it on the fly with the receiver if the person is listening in through the headphones and they're watching and seeing that it's peaking, they can adjust it down on the fly, which is very cool, a very nice feature to have. Now with that being said, the microphone does sound good. It has a very nice display that works very well. It sounds clear and crisp for what it is. I really like the small compact design and the ease of use of the entire system. I would prefer to have a charging dock, which it looks like there is, but I haven't looked it up. But it wouldn't have charging pins for nothing, right? That wouldn't make sense. So you might want to invest in that if you want to have ease of use and just keep it charged at all times inside of a charging case like your AirPods. Now, although this microphone does work well when you have a nice line of sight, I did notice just like other small microphones like this, if you are moving around and you have this clipped onto your belt and maybe you turn around or something, it does have a tendency to cut out a bit and ruin your audio. So keep in mind this works best if you happen to be standing still in a line of sight to the receiver, but if you're moving around like you're riding a scooter and spinning around and doing tricks and stuff, it might cut out. Just keep that in mind even if you are relatively close, which I never understood, but I guess your body gets in the way and completely distorts the signal. All that being said though, the price is good, it works well, and if you happen to be using it in a simple environment like this and just wanna clean up your audio in your video, I can definitely recommend it. I really like the ease of use, the OLED display looks great, and the microphone even sounds good, so there's not much to hate.